everyone. Uh, just gonna. I thought I might do a bit of a normal day for me, just so you can see what I get up to. Um, it's now. What time is it? About past twelve. Two o'clock. Nearly two o'clock. Um, we're gonna actually go for some lunch over at Habaneras, uh, which is a shopping centre. But they've got this restaurant's got some really good tapas. Um, so we're gonna head in there. Somebody's been in my side of the seat. The seat belt's all twisted. Um, one of the things that was a bit of a downer this week, all this, I thought, hey, hey we're getting cables, we're getting some fiber, you we're wish. getting new street lights. <laughs> yeah, wish. asking the guys, it's like, no, it's for street lights. It's like, oh, can't have everything. But as you can see, it's a nice sunny day. And I'm boiling. <laughs> the band's a bit, a little bit unsettled because we ain't used it for a while. And we're just gonna head out. But it's a beautiful day here. And we're just head here. That's our friend Natalia. It's market day so the matter is really busy. You see the sun's back. We're we're now in the good stuff. The good good weather, good living, and enjoying Spain. Um, this morning I've already done some work, and basically I've had some spreadsheets come in from the UK, so I've done a few hours on that. I'll do some more of that tonight as well, in a bit of a Spanish style. We sort of take the middle of the afternoon now. Yeah, Spanish lunchtime. That's what I said. Yeah, they take the middle of the afternoon now. <laughs> That's April taunting me in the background. Um, <coughs> but I, I got some uh, trousers to return today as well from CNA. I know it's not too exciting, but it's something worth noting. If you're like myself, I've got quite muscular legs um, from sports and stuff when I was younger, so my uh, thighs are quite broad. So, even when they say normal jeans, they're not normal, they're skinny jeans to me. I can't, I can't get my, um, I can't get most jeans in Spain over my calf. They just don't fit. They, they seem to go for this, like, deer leg fit. You know, the, like the legs of a deer, they're just straight and don't seem to, unless you're like skinny, they're sort of limited. I normally buy my stuff from uh, Marks and Spencers, but we bought from CNA this week, and it, they just don't fit. I mean, the bizarre thing is, we've got two pairs of jeans, same size, um, 10 euros difference between the two pairs, and the cheaper one doesn't fit at all. The other one is fine. Yeah, it's the same, same shop, just a better quality jean. So, maybe they're cutting, cutting the cost by cutting some of the material out. I don't know, they certainly don't fit. <coughs> so, we're on our way. So, we're now heading down just past the salt lake on the right. If you look straight ahead, you'll see some salt mountains there for um, export. So uh, we're just heading down now, soon be in Torreca. Torreca is about, well it's five kilometers from La Mata, so it's not too far. Um, you got all the sports facilities on the left, the school's not far from here. And then we're going to go near car four, because Habaneras is next door to it. The good thing about the roads here, they, they we're on the N332, is the roads around this area, I can't speak of the whole of Spain because I, I, I haven't analysed their uh, road structures throughout the country, but in this area the roads are pretty good. Um, some of it, well I'll say a lot of it is EU money, if not all of it. <coughs> I'm not sure how the subsidies work, I don't know how much they have to pay back or whatever. Um, but it's certainly improved the infrastructure of Spain a lot. 
Now, one thing I will say, if you're coming up here, watch for this roundabout, because it's a bit of an awkward one, because cars are approaching from your left and they come round from the rim. Round the roundabout pretty fast. So, you sort of got to look over your shoulder and straight in front at the same time. Which, uh, does it sound easier than it is? Because <laughs> they're, because they're rolling down the hill behind me, they're sort of like behind the door pillar, you just got to get a fast gap at the same time as having a gap in front, like this, and away we go. But it's quite a little busy place. If you need any car things, this place is great, Argy, on the on the right here, this place. It's a bit like uh, tyre services in the UK, or Quick Fit, one of those type places. Uh, this is Abanera's on the right, we're going to go round into the car park. I said it's quite a busy day today. I think it's good. people are starting to come out a bit more now the sun's back. Habaneras now. You probably noticed the van's very dusty. That's from the sand from the beach. So there's no point washing it when there's rain and stuff because as soon as it rains, it blows the sand up with a bit of wind and it all sticks to it again. So, but now we've got the uh, sun back, I can sort that out. But this is Habaneras. April's with us, got the shop here. <laughs> So we finished at Abaneras, so I've got to head back to the car and then we'll go for our walk along the beach and up through the trees and then back to work. Okay, so what happened with the walk? Well, we popped into the house. <laughs> Not only a bad thing to do. Uh, so we popped into the house to do one thing. Um, I then responded to emails, which is always... Uh, not advisory if you've got something else to do, especially health orientated. Um, so we didn't actually get to do our walk, but sort of going to make up for it now. I'm just going to go and pick the kids up with April. April's gone ahead um, because I had some sales issues. I've got I've got a website at the moment um, which generates a good regular income. The big problem I have with it is the site actually fails. Um, it hasn't been updated um, for about five years and the pa payment process with PayPal isn't running as smooth as it should do so about 99% of 
of the sales go through okay, but then the 1%, for, for whatever reason, it doesn't. I have no idea why not. But, this, but they changed the actual setup on the website. In other words, they rewrote the entire thing, so I can't just update it. I've had to scrap the old site, and there's a lot of work involved. I estimate it's going to be another two weeks full time, but I've also had some spreadsheet work coming from the UK. I'm just going to grab a cold drink out of the van. Remember, I had that solar panel fitted. This is one of the things I've got. April keeps folding this bloody extra seat out. We've got a cool box which is permanently running. Or should we? Let somebody switch this off. Uh, it's been cold. Uh, just grabbing a cold drink out the bottom. Just we'll check the voltage on the charger while we're here. Looks like. Uh, the time we need adjusting. There's a, there's a timer setting on it, and basically what's happened, it's running probably about 12 hours a day, and then shutting itself down, because there's a timer control on it. But anyway, we're off up to the school now, so we'll take a walk up here. All this, I was hoping, all this uh, was going to be fibre optics going in, so I could have some internet. Do you know what it is? Street lighting. <laughs> It's just like, ah, oh, yeah. I can live in the dark. Just give me some fast internet. As you can hear them in the background, they're already in the next street. You hear them? There's a whole team of guys down there. They blocked the entire road off for the day. This is a nice little precinct. All these are available, all these units. Both sides, completely empty. I like this bar, but I don't know who owns it. I met the Polish guy that was using it. Um, but then he just disappeared. He said he wasn't making any money, but then he just vanished. But there's no sign up. Because this is a nice little tapas bar. It's like the old traditional type bar. And as long as it's got the cooking and stuff in there, I'd be interested. Get the right rent on it. These shops are normally open on a Wednesday. We're a little bit late for the uh, bus. I'll pause a minute. Just got to the plaza and I can see April and the kids having a look at the flowers. So, my friend runs this kiosk here. So, just going to take the kids home, give them some dinner, and back to work. Say hi. Sure. <laughs>